Greetings ladies and gentlefish and welcome to this pair of subscriber games. Both of these are going to be courtesy of the same guy and both of these are going to be artillery games. So we have to kick things off with Hanazono Shizuma driving the French tier 5 artillery piece, the 105 I can't even be bothered to try and pronounce what that's supposed to be so I'm just going to call it B2 Mit 105. <laughs> Um, yes, yes, I know. That's actually a a, a German way of, of saying things rather than French. But uh, the confusing thing about this is, if I am, I believe that these were actually captured French Char B1 heavy tanks, given a 105 mm gun. And when I say captured, they were captured by the Germans. So this tank, I believe, should actually be in the German territory. Anyway. I'm going to actually refer to this chap throughout both of these replays, they're both his, as Enmei. Why am I going to do that? Because um, Hanazono changed his name in-game, basically. Um, and so he changed his name to Enmei, and so that's what I'm going to refer to him as. Some of you may have seen uh, a game that he played in the M48A1 pattern that was shown on Quickie Baby's channel. Um, Enmei seems to like his unconventional tier 10 medium tanks. You know, those medium tanks that aren't necessarily the most popular, but more on that um, another time. So, this is the B1 I'm just going to call it the Lef, whatever. Um, this thing gets a rapid firing, relatively accurate 105 mil howitzer. It's kind of a little bit like, in terms of gameplay, it's a little bit like the uh, Bishop or the Burt at tier 6, the FB304, in as much as it's a rapid firing, fast aiming, relatively accurate gun that doesn't do a huge amount of damage when it hits and really needs direct hits in order to do any of that damage. The splash damage really is negligible. Um, however, it's mounted on the chassis of a heavy tank, so it's not as fast as the... So it's a bit more like the Bishop, I guess. It's not as fast as the FV-304. Um, but does actually have the hull armour to bounce a shot or two here or there. Now, this is quite good matchmaking for Enmei. This is a Tier 5 game. He's in a Tier 5 artillery piece, um, so he can certainly do a lot of damage. Ah, just trying for those shots on the Covenanter and T-34, but not being rewarded with any uh, damage, unfortunately. And that shot just didn't hit. It hit the rock. These are not great shots. There's quite a lot of cover obscuring them. But he's got a, a good rate of fire. So he's just giving them a go anyway. And there we go. Um, puts a round into the rear of that T-34. T-67 is quite a dangerous machine. So if you could take this guy out, that would be good. And indeed, he does. Scoreline is 5-5. Five, five. Um, now, while Enmei is... Woohoo! Very nice shot on the Wolverine there. While Enmei is nuking people, I will just quickly say... Um, if you spend any time on the forums or watching people's YouTube channels or anything, one thing you tend to notice is people whinging and moaning and complaining about artillery. And I totally understand. I have serious problems with artillery in this game as well. But I do think people spend a little bit too much time whinging about it. Anyway. Um, and you know, that there's the classic Unicum level players, if you will, which for those who don't know are sort of the top 1% of players in the game or top 0.1% or something like that. Um, they tend to spend their time moaning and complaining about artillery. Here, however, Enmei is one of the EU server's uh, resident tame unicorns. What do I mean by that? Well, he's a unicorn level player. He is an excellent player. And he's far better than I am. And he's actually quite a nice chap. And he tries to help people out. I've seen him post on the EU forum, so he, he tends to, um, you know, if he's got something useful to say, try and help people out. Um... And so it's nice to see, basically, it's nice to see a Unicum player playing artillery for a change rather than just moaning about it. Anyway, the scoreline is currently 8-8. Eight, eight. So over half of both teams have died. If you actually look at what's left on both teams, there's a pair of Type 95 heavies on the enemy team, which are garbage tanks. A couple of Tier 5 artillery, a Stug 3G, a T-34 and a T-25. Versus an AMX-40, which is also a garbage tank, a trio of artillery, 1 tier 5, 2 tier 4, a Type 95, as I said, garbage tank, Panzer Souffle, and the Chinu, tier 5 medium tank. Overall, in terms of just pure tanks, you'd probably have to give the current advantage to the enemy team. 
Type 95 has been spotted, and there you can see. Enma only gets a splash on the guy for 18 damage. Oh my god. Hate RTOP. Um, and that shot just completely misses. Now you could say, um, Enmei, why is it? Why is he not relocating between each shot? Well, that's more useful at higher tiers, frankly. When you're driving a tank like this, you have a reload of something like 10 seconds. By the time you've moved, reacquired your target, it would just be such a massive faff. You're actually probably better off, um, unless you need to relocate, sitting in one spot and just pelting people with HE rounds. Now. He's loading here a heat round. Why is he doing that? Well, if you look at the minimap, there are just the four of them left. Three of them are artillery. And there is no one guarding the passage down the one line. And so there's a very good chance someone's going to come steaming down the one line and threaten Enmei directly. And he has 305 average damage and 104 penetration with these heat rounds. Oh, well, that's, I assume, why he's loading the heat rounds anyway. So just looking to see if there is anyone for him to shoot. I'll also note, of course, Enmei here is using coffee um, in the third consumable slot rather than a fire extinguisher, which is entirely understandable. It does, of course, mean that if you haven't pre-bought your coffee, it will increase your um, your costs for the battle. But uh, if you've got like a bunch of premium tanks or whatever, there's no you know no reason why not. You can fairly easily gain those credits back another time. Now this Panzer Souffle has decided that he's going to go and have a look, see what is down the one line, and voila, there's the Type 95, and Enmei does absolutely no damage to him with that heat round. HE round might have penetrated the guy. This is, this is one of the reasons why I don't really like the sort of armor piercing and heat rounds you tend to find on a lot of artillery. They tend to be unreliable. There we go, penetration for 327. And Enmei, well he's loading a heat round now, but his next shell is going to be HE. He fires off the heat round just on the off chance that it might do something, and now loads a HE round. So, we know there's the T-34 down there. We know the T-34 is on low health, so if Enmei can get a half-decent hit, he should be able to finish that guy off. The PZSFL should also be able to finish him off. And that's a very fragile tank destroyer, and very inflexible, assuming he's using the top gun. Oh, there's also the Stug-3 hunkering down there, so if Enmei can get Enemy? Enemy can get an angle on these guys, he could actually rain death and destruction down on their faces, and I think he's thinking the same thing. Of course he is, it's an obvious thing to think, and he's a very good player. Um, now there's a lump of rock that pokes out part way around that, uh, that passage, so it is difficult to get shots on them. There's the other Type 95 though, enemy, shot enemy shotguns him, PZSFL is taking a lot of damage, and the enemy team kill him, and the enemy team are now capping. Now, interestingly, this machine actually gets a little bit of gun depression, which I was not aware of. And Enmei uses that gun depression to shotgun the Stug 3 in the face, just leaving a low health T-34 down here. We don't know exactly who's in the capture circle, but considering it's a choice between a pair of artillery pieces and a T-25, my money is on the medium tank. So Enmei really needs to get rid of this T-34 and then go back and deal with the base, frankly. He gets spotted, takes a punt, but no dice. T-34 puts a shot into him. Thankfully, the T-34 doesn't get a huge amount of alpha damage. And unfortunately for the T-34, he goes out way too far. Three plays three, but the enemy team are in the friendly team's capture circle. And he is trying to get, Enme is trying to get his other friendly artillery to go and spot the base. He's not going to make it back there in time. He needs his friendly artillery to go and spot. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. Right. T25 and... 118. May not be a vast amount of damage, but it resets the cap. T25 is now lo opening up on the person who spotted him, but Enmei picks up the kill for kill number 6. 
So now it's just the enemy bishop and M41 HMC remaining against them. Now, someone did say in the global chat that the bishop was AFK, but you need to sometimes treat these comments with a bit of a pinch of salt. Um, just because someone said they're AFK doesn't necessarily mean that they are. So be careful. You can see the enemy T67 is saying bishop is AFK near base, please report him. Bear in mind that T67 might be trying to you know, force a ruse upon you, so treat it with a little bit of scepticism. However, Enmay is not just going to sit at the back of the map, and the the um, 105 Lefefe is actually pretty good at shotgunning people. You know, relatively accurate, relatively fast aiming, and the chassis actually has pretty decent armor for an artillery piece. The superstructure is probably quite weak, but as I say, it's the chassis of a heavy tank. And the mobility isn't terrible, so actually as far as artillery goes, and it has some gun depression, so as far as artillery goes, it can actually do these sort of close range engagements better than most. Um, certainly better than an M41, or a bishop. Now, let's not write these guys off. Those guys could happily shotgun Enmei and kill him, especially the M41, but all the same, in these sort of closer range engagements, Enmei's actually in a relatively good position. Sternpanzer spots the M41, Enmei takes a shot, makes sure it's aimed, and voila, kill number seven. That just leaves the bishop on the enemy team. And there he is, and it does indeed look like he's AFK. Which is a shame, but there we go. Enmei aims for the superstructure rather than the hull, as it's the hull of a valentine and he could bounce otherwise. And he is rewarded with the kill. Voila! There we go. Let's go and have a look at the results. So, that was Enmei's first mark of excellence. On the um, B2-105 Lefer. Uh Ace tanker, bruiser. Uh, is that a Starks medal? It's a gauze medal, sorry, for doing ten times as much damage as you have health in an artillery piece. He also, of course, picked up Defender, High Caliber, Top Gun, and a Radley Walters medal, so that was quite a nice haul of awards. 2,731 damage done, remembering, of course, this is a Tier 5 game, and he's in a Tier 5 tank, so that's quite a lot. Eight kills, 1,237 base experience, which is a lot for an artillery piece at any tier, let alone Tier 5. 28 shots fired, 15 hits, 14 pens. For that damage count. Um, most of it was from longer range, but some of it was shotgunning people in the face as well. 92 base uh, defense points. 11 enemy tanks damaged, 8 of them destroyed. 1.34 kilometers traveled. And bearing in mind, of course, Enmei was using coffee. He had 20,000 credits of that and fired a few heat rounds. With a standard account, he'd have barely scraped a profit. He's running a premium though, so he still made a 20k credit profit on that very nice game. And now he did actually say when he uh, sent this game to me he got a little frustrated with the team at the end when they weren't capping, but frankly his frustration wasn't that bad. I've seen far far worse in chat. So, um, and I think in that particular case it was entirely understandable when it looked like the other two guys on his team weren't going to do anything about the capture circle. As it is, they were, they were just in slow machines, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, that's the first game, let's go and move on to the second. Alright, well, I had intended to have a second game from Enmei for you in an artillery piece, but the replay file crashes um, the client. It's it's annoying, the, some replay, the occasional replay file is just really buggy and doesn't really work, which is a little frustrating. So, I can't actually show you the game. I can quickly, however, show you the results. It was in the M40, M43, that's the Tier 8 American artillery piece. And he was on Prokhorovka, um, a nice wide open map, good for artillery. And in the end, after doing a buttload of damage and what looks like some spotting on a KV-5, go figure. And I don't mean assistance, I don't mean tracking, I mean spotting. He managed to pick up Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fighter, Gauze Medal and High Calibre. In total, managing 6,222 damage done, 5 kills, 1,529 base experience, which is a good amount of base experience and is a phenomenal amount for an artillery piece. 15 shots fired, 11 hits, 10 pens, 
making a loss on artillery, go figure, that's what artillery does. To be fair, he was running a consumable, it looks like cola, at the time, which would account for the loss. Um, but it looked like quite a decent game, it's just a shame that I wasn't actually able to show it, because, yay, Wargaming's coding is very strong. Um, but there we go. So, I hope you enjoyed that slightly shorter than I had anticipated um, video showing uh, some artillery replays, or some artillery games, from a Unicum level player. If you did, by all means, feel free to catch some of my other videos, and or subscribe to my channel, and I wish you very happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao, ciao.